Hey all, Jame here, and I know it's been a long, long, long time since I've made a video on this. But about two years ago, I got a massive hand injury, and I made a video like showing the healing time lapse, and you guys showed so much support on it, and asked so many pertinent questions, and like just important ones too, related to your your own injuries. And I feel like I actually really need to reply to some of them. Um, not necessarily because it's like like I'm obligated to, but you guys just gave me so much support and so much, like, and it meant so much to me that I feel bad not having given you a one year update, especially since so many of you guys wanted it. And I feel like a two year update is at least the least I could do. And it's just a way of showing thank you for all this. Honestly, I don't really have an excuse for why it took so long. I'm sorry it did. It's basically just, I've been wanting to make everything perfect and it's like the weight of those expectations on my own shoulders from myself just kept holding me back. But now I realize that, fuck it, I should just do what I want and not give a shit if it's perfect and just not care about what anyone is going to say. And that's what I'm going to do. I have tons of plans for this channel and I hope you guys will stick around with me to see them through. And... Yeah, honestly, just thank you so much for the support and all the kind words that you guys left on the first one. I've been healing pretty well. I haven't really seen a dermatologist or a physician or anything to help me like heal better. But to be honest, sometimes I just forget that I have the scar and that my muscle and tendon are a little bit messed up. I just forget because honestly, it's just it, I, I don't even feel it. And yes, I'll reply to all the comments and all the questions you guys put in the first video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. To all you guys that asked, how is your hand looking now? One year update, how's the movement? How's the weather? <laughs> the answer to that is all yes. It hurts, but it's not that bad. Essentially, the area is still numb, especially like in the concave area of the scar, like just above it. That's still numb. I feel the pressure, but like if you run a feather on it, I won't really feel it. Or if just a light touch, I won't necessarily feel it. But I would say it's like 70% back, the feeling. It's not perfect. I didn't expect it to be, but I'm... Honestly, I can't really complain with what I have now. It's much better than it could be. Um, as for the movement, the movement is pretty much 100% back. Like, I have less um, squeezing power, like, grip. I have less grip in that hand, and especially around that thumb. But that's the only, like, thing that's not back to 100%. Like, um, I don't have any restriction on, like, any physical movement, it's just, like, the strength isn't back 100%. And for the weather, if there's bad weather, or if it's, like, raining, then sunny raining, and then sunny, like, yes. And if it's cold as well, <laughs> which sucks, because I live in Canada, but... Yes, it hurts during bad weather, which is fine. I'll, I wear gloves, especially to just like make sure it doesn't suffer from the cold too much. And honestly, it's nothing I can't deal with. So I, on that end, I can't really complain. For those who pointed out that keeping the stitches in for more than a week is uncommon, or like you shouldn't do that, those were special types of stitches. Usually they give you those that for like small cuts, they give you those that will like dissolve themselves into your skin and yes, those don't really tend to stay in for more than a week. But for this one, um, those didn't dissolve, they were like very, they were pretty much just fishing line. Essentially that's what it was. And they were, we were told, I was told by the surgeon to keep them in for 14 days and that's what we did. So I didn't do anything wrong, but I understand the confusion. And to all of you guys who are also going through some very painful injuries and just similar ones like I did, I wish you all the best and I pray for you guys and I hope that seeing this gives you hope, that it gives you a sense that yes, it will get better and no, you're not going to completely lose your hand. Um, because I know that I was very worried when my mine happened and there was no healing time lapse like this anywhere on youtube that i could find and yeah i just hope that you at least get hope from seeing those videos because that's what they were intended for and i hope you guys are healing well 
make sure you do see physical therapy and like dermatologists and everything. Don't do like I did. Don't just let it heal on its own. Take the steps needed. And yeah, I hope you're doing better. And again, thank you for the support.